Okay. Oh, oh my god. At the end of the last chapter, chapter 8, my heart was beating so fast. But you know, if you think about it, it, it makes sense. Think to back to all those panels where it just showed Sua and he was either smiling or he was just looking at them. But no other panel time was given to the other characters where they were just smiling or looking at it. Like it was a build up. Like you could see him watching them and he was smiling. Now if you, if, like say you didn't really think much about it, it would look like, oh he just really supports them, you know. But it, before you find out and Kakaru asks Asua, hey, you like her, right? Is it okay for me to go look at the festival um, fireworks with her? You just see that him looking at them. And when we find out that he has a letter too from his future self, it makes you go, oh, okay. You, we know that Naho gets with Sua in the future, in that future timeline. When you think about it, no other panel time was given to the other characters, Hagi or the other girls, just by themselves. Because usually they're in groups of three or four together, huddled up, smiling and supporting them. But it's a big hint when it's one of them and there's no dialogue and it's just them smiling, looking, That that's a big hint. I am so like, I, I am just so speechless. Now, what makes this great is that when they were in the classroom and the teacher was talking about time machines and parallel universes, it's like a foreshadow slash huge hint that even if Naho changes the past now, it doesn't mean that her future is going to change for that Naho that's already grown up and has a baby with Sua. She's still going to be living with those regrets, but she's giving this Naho a chance to have a different future. So that parallel, here's the older Naho, and once Naho started following the letter, a parallel universe was created. And so nothing changes here, but this is the new one. Those Naho slash Sua fan, couple fans, can be happy because she's with Sua in here and now that we have Kakeru and Naho here then that will please these fans so in, in, in a way it makes everybody happy now because it's not the end yet we don't know if Kakeru it, gets saved we don't know if something still happens to him we have to remember this is this is a slice of life like real life anything can happen so that's what makes it interesting and the fact that it's a little supernatural too, that that just, man, that's, that's the sprinkles on ice cream. That's just the cherry on top of the sundae. I, I can really appreciate this writing. I can really appreciate um, this story because, you know, they don't fall in love too fast. Because I can't stand it when the girls fall in love too fast with the guy. Or the guy falls in love too fast with the girl. And, you know, can we talk about Sua's character? Talk about selfless, right? I mean, in this universe, you know, he says in the letter that I wasn't very supportive of the relationship. But, you know, after finding out what happens to Kakeru, you know, he writes that letter to his past self and wants to support their feelings. Like, all their friends want to support their feelings to save him. And, you know, that's just... That was just moving all together. I just also thought that this chapter really, it was a really clear about their feelings for each other. He got the bouquet, he got the bouquet for her and gave it to her. He's just like, I, I want to show you my feelings. And it was just, everything was out in the air, everything's out in the open now. And I think that's great. Oh man, oh god. Do you, do you guys, this, this has caused me so much feels. I, I've been getting all these feels in the inside and the biggest like plot twist was that letter man. Sue getting the letter and it makes you wonder did anybody else get a letter? Probably not. No I don't think so. I, I'm thinking maybe only those two got a letter because the other three they're already support their relationship you know and the girls flat out told Sue hey um, we're cheering for Naho, so we're going to support her, you know. And he's completely okay with that. And I just also thought it was really sad how near the end of the chapter when, in the letter that Sua gets, he says, But after Kakeru died, Naho would just sit there and cry. And, you know, and I'm thinking she was, he was there for her, so they end up getting together, you know. 
and he always regretted, you know, not supporting them. But, you know, the themes in this manga is don't have any regrets. And I think we can all relate to that because you only have one chance, one life. And there's really no going back. In the real world, there's no time traveling to go back. So this really teaches you, if you like someone, go for it. Just tell them how you feel and before you regret it for the rest of your life. What's the worst that can happen? Them say no. Yeah, so that's all I have for this chapter. So many feels and emotions just swirling and wishing around inside me. But yeah, tune in again, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!